Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Latia B. First things first, Happy New Year. This is my first video of 2024 and I am so excited to have you here. I know I'm a few weeks late, but at the beginning of the year, I shared over on Instagram some of my goals for 2024. And this year is all about prioritizing myself. This includes improving my quality of sleep, eating more nutritious food, committing to my physical fitness, and nurturing my mental wellness. But today I wanna to talk to you about how I plan to get better sleep. As a first time and stay at home mom to an almost two year old, I feel like I am always on duty 24 seven. It's like the things, they just do not stop. To add to this, my son still doesn't sleep all the way through the night which i mean it's not necessarily a bad thing because adults wake up throughout the night too so i mean why would you expect anything less of a child but still this mama needs some better sleep so i'm taking steps to help me and my son sleep better one of the things that i'm implementing into my bedtime routine to help me sleep better is the hatch restore and the reason why i'm excited about this is because the hatch restore is so much more than a sound machine hatch is a device that helps you build a consistent bedtime and morning routine so that you can improve your sleep quality but before I get into that, I want to give you guys some background on our current sleep situation. When my son was first born, we did co-sleep, so he had a bassinet that was right next to our bedside for easy access to him throughout the night. However, we went through a lot of transitions. Moving from Japan back to the States was a really big just like interruption in my plan on getting him to sleep better on his own. And when we moved here, we didn't have his crib, so it prolonged the time that I had to, you know, make that transition for him. It wasn't until he was around like 10 months old that I was like okay enough is enough I want to get him into his crib and y'all in the beginning that was such a struggle but now here we are he is almost two and he will sleep in his crib most of the time without an issue and he usually starts his night off in there however around like two three o'clock in the morning he makes his way to our bed that's also around the time that my husband wakes up so it kind of makes sense because he can hear my husband whenever he's getting ready so he's like oh dad is up let me get up too <laughs> so at that point I just go ahead and bring him into the bed with me but from the time that I put him in his crib to sleep to the time that he wakes up around two to three in the morning he does still wake up like one to two times a night I am still nursing so a lot of those times he's wanting milk to help him go back to sleep and I'll admit those moments where I'm having to get up and go in there to comfort him it can be pretty rough because I don't sleep all that well from the time that I put him down to the time that he wakes up and I really just want to work on at least getting some quality sleep during those times when he's asleep also so that whenever I do have to wake up I'm feeling more rested and ready to you know do what I need to do I also feel like if I could sleep more soundly when he does get into our bed that would make a huge difference on how our day goes because I've noticed on the days where I do like get a really good rest I'm just more you know up and ready to take on the day but those days when it's just a struggle it is really a struggle I'm really excited to see how the hatch will help improve my sleep over time because you can create a custom routine to help you wind down and sleep through the night when you think of a sound machine, what's the first thing that comes to mind? probably white noise but with the hatch there are so many sounds to choose from which I really love because sometimes I want to sit by the campfire sometimes I do want to hear some white noise and sometimes I want to hear rain outside my window since the restore connects to the hatch app I'm able to choose what sound works for me in that moment I've been using mine for about four nights now and y'all let me tell you I can already feel a difference I'll admit I was a bit not so much skeptical but like hmm is this really going to help me because I've seen so many moms talk about using the hatch whether it's the restore or another hatch product for their kids and how big of a difference it has made in their sleep so I was like I wonder just how helpful this can be for not only my son but for me as well because if he sleeps better that means I sleep better the sound that I've been falling asleep to recently is a campsite fire and the sound of the wood cracking has just I don't know it's something so soothing about it especially because it's so cold here right now I think hearing the campfire in my mind it kind of just puts me in that place and it just puts me me in a state of relaxation and when my son has been taking his naps I've actually been playing the same sound for him and letting him sleep in our bed and he's been sleeping for like two to three hours so I would say that's a pretty big win the other thing that I've really been enjoying while using the hatch is that you can actually set up a whole unwind routine in this routine you can choose from a collection of sounds that help just signal to your body okay body it's time to you know settle down and get ready for bed one thing that I struggle with a lot <laughs> is scrolling on social media whether it's in the bed 
bed or just staying up late in the living room, family room, wherever, scrolling endlessly, that's my problem. And the thing that I've been listening to to help me unwind is the stop the scroll. This option is basically where you listen to someone else scrolling through all the tea in the social media streets so that you don't have to. And for me, that's been great because I want to know what's going on in the pop culture world, but without having to look at my phone. After that, I like to put on a bedtime story because I don't know about you, but when I hear someone talk for a long time, like nonstop, it just makes me so sleepy. I may be guilty of falling asleep a time or two during lecture in my graduate school days, but by the time the bedtime story ends and the campsite fire or whatever sound I choose is on, I promise y'all I'm asleep within like a good five minutes. I've noticed that when I've had to wake up throughout the night, I don't feel so grumpy when doing so, so I don't know. I think I'm a believer in the hatch restore so far. My favorite part of the hatch is that when you wake up to it, it wakes you up in such a gentle way. There's a sunrise alarm that you would customize a color profile for and also choose a sound to hear. I'm a lo-fi girl, so I like to listen to some chill beats or even like jazz music early in the morning. So that's currently the type of music that plays whenever it wakes me up. And this has been so much better than the abrupt alarm that I used to have on my phone. While I am loving my hatch restore, I don't only want to improve my sleep I also want to improve my son's sleep because I truly feel like it has a direct correlation in how well I sleep at night we'll also be transitioning him to his toddler bed pretty soon so I want to make sure that he has the tools to stay asleep or put himself back to sleep if he does wake up in the middle of the night so for him I'll be using the hatch rest go his hatch is small and it is portable and it doesn't need to connect to the hatch app this sound machine is different from the ones that I have used previously I bought him one when he was first born but it only had like four sound it had white noise, the sound of water, heartbeat, and something else I can't remember off the top of my head. But this one has 10 sounds, including this one. It's the sound of someone shushing and I actually shush him when he goes to sleep and it's really funny because he will shush if I'm not shushing him. So that's his favorite sound to hear whenever he's falling asleep and I really appreciate the fact that it's on the hatch rest go because I can save my breath and let it do its job. After using both of these devices for 30 days, I do plan on writing a blog post to give a very detailed update on how it's working for us and if we see any improvements. But given how I feel at the moment, I already feel like this is going to make some positive changes. If getting better sleep is one of your goals in 2024, I definitely recommend that you at least check Hatch out. I put a link to the website down in the description box, so if you want to check it out, it'll be there for you for easy access. If you have a Hatch or end up trying one, definitely let me know down in the comment section and let me know what your favorite feature is. I truly hope that if you are hoping for better sleep, you are finding ways to achieve that this year and beyond. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in my next one and do not forget to stay dazzling.